Good afternoon, this is Michael Belt, your local realtor with the Addison Real Estate. So we're coming to you live from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. We're looking at for sale here, 12 Madison Street, Glen Ridge. And we're just gonna do some outer exterior neighborhood shots real quick. Um, it's an estate sale, so meaning uh, the uh, original owner passed on and uh, left it in the will to the kids. The kids have never lived there, so I would not expect much updates inside. However, I would be pleasantly surprised if the house is in otherwise good condition. Neighborhood row going down Madison Street, and this is how I came in. That's Midland Ave. It's a densely populated suburb, but the town, based on the homes and you know the cars in front, I think uh, I think this neighborhood's all right. Nice old school style colonials, probably all built around the same time period. Nice beautiful pines in front. Those trees are great in the winter time. They don't break and snap like you do see with deciduous trees. Just gonna do a side shot. So I'm seeing air conditioners and window units, so that leads me to believe there is no forced air in this. It's asphalt single, shingle, asphalt, sorry, asphalt shingle. No telling how old it is, but uh, if it's in the occasion, you, you know, the flashing, the green flashing that goes around the chimney, that's probably going to need a little work. Um, the uh, waterproofing on the exterior of the uh, cement basement, that looks to be relatively new. Wood shingles. You can see the um, detached garage and the fenced in backyard with a wood patio. Oh, I see a split level unit. Okay, that's good. See it going up. So it does have AC and heat electric. It's lattice style fencing. It's seen better days, but I mean, it's still holding up. So pillars. have a screened porch it's fully enclosed so I mean it could be could be an all season three season this is the driveway um, clearly due to that tree it's impassable you'd have to have a pretty small car to get through there as you can see I parked here but nevertheless Good use for a shed, and you have uh, plenty of parking off street. I'd be a little concerned with this tree though, with the roots all growing. I mean, you're looking at about a four and a half, five foot distance between foundation and root. Pretty close for comfort, but there's no indication that it's buckling other than you know that line uh, the paint doesn't seem to be chipping on the outside the color is still pretty uh pretty popping um you got some busted out storm windows but you got some rebar here security so you know no break-ins all right so this is the detached garage Concrete's pretty busted up, as you can see. You know, all depends on what you'd want to use this for. Extensive water damage. You can see it off on the sides here. There's no insulation or anything. It's it's pretty much just a hollow shell. This is all got to get redone in here. Clean
clean up the backyard. It's pretty, pretty pleasant space for, uh, for the location. Here's the exterior. Lots of windows. That's good. It closes securely. It just doesn't have a hook, it's missing one. Overall, <clears throat> pleasantly surprised with the condition on the outside structurally. Again, back in the front yard, public sidewalk. This is one of those towns where they deliver the mail to the porch, as you can see right there. Interior of the sunscreen porch. I love that wood. That's nice. As long as it keeps you dry, that's all that matters. All right, and from here we will head in.